Uh, Dean, and untimely end to what's been a good season. Uh, what did you make of that game today, firstly? We gave away terrible goals. We served about probably our worst performance of the season. Full credit to the opposition, though. I want to congratulate them. Uh, they were clinical. The first two efforts on a goal in the back of the net. We had the first great chance of the game. Addy's got a header six yards out. He has to score. And, um, and then obviously at 2 0, Nicky's got a volley that he's got to score as well. So we're in the first half, there's two chances to both teams. We first find ourselves 2 0 down. And uh, full credit to them, second half, they counted on us again, which we spoke about all week and watched and walked on and coached. And, uh, but when it comes to the big games, we've come up short. That's Newport here, that's Borland Wood here last year, uh, Gateshead away last year, um, Chesterfield away, when we were dominant in the first half early in the season. So. Um, I oh, know what needs to, needs to happen now, so we'll start building on the, on the new team for next year, for the 24-25 season, we'll start that from tomorrow. On those chances, we seem to create quite a lot for that first half an hour maybe, and then after that not so much. What do you think happened there? Lack like of quality in front of goal. laddie has got a glorious chance, Nicky's got a glorious chance. You have to score in these big games, goal change games. Their first entry in our box, header, goal. Second entry from a defensive goal kick. Cropsey's not on the cover. Danny gets buoyed off with the kid. Left foot, great finish, bottom corner. You're 2 0 down. Goal change games. They give them a lift. They come to play on the counter attack. And we weren't clean in possession. We were sloppy. We were poor. We looked nervy. And um, yeah, we come up way short today. So we finished the season on 86 points. Uh, looking back on it as a whole, what have you made of that? Still wasn't what I wanted. I wanted 90. Um, obviously, we weren't able to go at Chesterfield. Loads of things to learn, especially when we lost to Chesterfield. Um, that was a huge, sort of the next six weeks were so important because we sort of declined within that period and we threw away our title race. But even that game at Chesterfield, we come up short. Unbelievable chances in that game. Should be 2-3 in the look at half time. The same again, so not in the sense of the same level of performance, but with two chances each, we find ourselves 2-0 down. But this is cup football, it's cruel, it's sport, it's business. And I'll just dust myself off and go again. And we, We've got a long summer ahead, a tough summer. And uh, we'll be talking, signing new players, players out of contract, players that get released. And uh, that's how it works. It's a new team. It'll start uh, being built from tomorrow. And then just finally, the fans, especially today, were made the ground buzzing. Um, what uh, message do you have for them? Yeah, our players never gave them out and the buzz about. Um, our players never showed enough real minerals, real football. And you got one nil down. You need characters, you need leaders, proper leaders, proper characters to be able to come back. And we've come up short in that department all season. So I feel sorry. I'm sorry for that. Um, I don't want to say sorry because I think the pl players gave their all. But we've come up short. Again, I thought their midfield were outstanding. Absolutely outstanding their midfield and they, they ran all over us and they, um, people will say about selection and this, that and the other. Steady's had a dead leg, he's barely trained. Brunty rolled his ankle on tours, they didn't train towards the Friday. Um, we tried to get Tom out fit, we did everything we could to get him fit, we couldn't. Pritch has played with his back. So look all in all, I'm not making excuses, but what I would say is it's something we need to sort out, make sure we have our players fit and healthy. Um, we we're just a little bit stretched today within that department. But, uh, we're our supporters, I want to thank them for everything. Um, it's been a good ride this year, but not good enough. Um, we've just got to, this has just got to make us stronger, mentally stronger. Um, we just pull together and go again next season. Dean, thank you for your time. Sure.